Hi, today I'll be talking about the integrated bridge systems or IBS that we find on ships. Uh, so what is IBS? Uh, IBS as uh, defined by the IMO uh, is an integrated bridge system is a combination of systems which are interconnected in order to allow centralized access to sensor information or the command and control from workstations with the aim of increasing safe and efficient ships management by suitably qualified personnel. Now, performance standards for integrated bridge systems are adopted in the resolution MSC 64 bracket 67. To reduce the time spent on data processing by the officer on watch, the ship's bridges are being automated at an increasing rate. Now, the bridge team is also being provided with displays that allow for a quick evaluation of the navigation picture. The integrated bridge system may be based on several different combinations of equipment and systems. These are designed for an individual ship's needs. In this case, Accessibility is an important issue. So it considers basic elements such as computer, processor and network, the chart arrangement, display arrangements, planning station, radar and ARPA systems and control systems. As you see on your screen, the picture basically shows you an example of what an integrated bridge system looks like. Now, based on the IMO circular or IMO resolution MSC 6467, the IBS should provide functional integration ensuring that the functionality of the IBS uh, should ensure that its operation is at least as effective as for standalone equipment. Continuously displayed information should be reduced to the minimum necessary for safe operation of the ship. Supplementary information should be readily accessible where multifunctional displays and controls are used to perform functions necessary for safe operation of the ship they should be duplicated and interchangeable it should be possible to display the complete configuration the available configuration and the configuration in use each part to be integrated in the ibs should provide details of its operational status and the latency and validity of essential information a way should be provided within the IBS to make use of this information. An alternative means of operation should also be provided for essential functions. An alternative source of essential information should be provided with the IBS being able to identify loss of either source. The source of information that is the sensor or result of calculation whether it is from manual input should be displayed continuously or on request. As per the SOLAS uh, Chapter 5, integrated bridge systems shall be so arranged that failure of one subsystem is brought to immediate attention of the officer in watch of the navigational watch by audible and visual alarms and does not cause failure to any other subsystem. In case of failure in one part of an integrated navigation system, it shall be possible to operate each other individual item of equipment or part of the system separately. So you can see in IBS, the most important element becomes the operator, that is the officer on watch. The design of the system should provide intelligent options to the officer on watch to minimize uh, the workload and free up the bridge team. Fully integrated bridge systems can steer the ship on its planned route. It is very important to ensure that systems are maintained within the specifications and that any changes made during a service or refitting does not ever adversely affect the integration. The integration should ensure that electronic signals are transmitted in the NMEA format, National Marine Electronics Association format, defining how data is to be transmitted from a navigational device. The standard allows the integrated use of different manufacturers, navigation devices, and the design and manufacture of compatible modular marine electronic equipment. The integrated bridge system should be seen only as a mechanism to assist with decision making and not one for decision making. At this point, you must note that if two exists is provided in compliance with SOLAS requirements, now exempts a ship from carrying paper charts unless raster navigation charts are in use.
all right so i hope this was a short video good enough for you to understand what is an integrated bridge system or ibs and what are its functional requirements as per the imo resolution let me know if you have any questions and if you have any feedback or comments i look forward to seeing you soon with my next video bye guys